Okay, in Second Chronicles chapter 26, verses 3 through 5, it says, Uzziah was 16 years old when he became king, and he reigned in Jerusalem 52 years. His mother was Jechaliah from Jerusalem. He did what was pleasing in the Lord's sight, just as his father Amaziah had done. Uzziah sought God during the days of Zechariah, who taught him to fear God. And as long as the king sought guidance from the Lord, God gave him success. You know, in reading First and Second Kings and Second Chronicles, we gain details about all the Israelite kings. In the beginning description of each monarch, there is usually something like this. Rob was 22 years old when he became king, and he reigned in Virginia for 47 years. He did what was pleasing in the Lord's sight as his father Larry had done. Something like that. Uh, this initial summary, given before the more detailed description that follows, almost always indicates whether a king is faithful or not. If the description begins with, Rob was 22 years old when he became king and he reigned in Virginia for two years, well, that's not a good sign. The summary for King Uzziah indicates that things might have been kind of a mixed bag. The first thing to notice is he was 16 when he became king and he reigned 52 years. Well, I mean, that sounds promising. Uzziah was the second longest serving king in the history of Israel and Judah. Only Manasseh reigned longer than him. Second, Uzziah did what was pleasing in the Lord's sight as his father Amaziah had done. Again, that sounds very good. Uzziah lived a life of faith in the Lord. However, verse 5 foreshadows something. Uzziah sought God during the days of Zechariah who was the high priest. And it says, as long as the king sought guidance, God gave him success, which clearly indicates that something, somewhere, went wrong. Uzziah stopped seeking God. In fact, for 42 years, Uzziah sought God as king of Judah. But later in life, he became proudly defiant. He entered the temple and took it upon himself to burn incense before the Lord. This was strictly forbidden for anyone other than the priests. When confronted, Uzziah did not repent, but rather exploded in rage at the priests. And suddenly God struck him with leprosy. He lived the rest of his days in quarantine, 10 years, while leprosy ate his body away. The author of 2 Chronicles could have easily summarized the life of Uzziah like this. Uzziah followed God until his stubborn pride got in the way. His final 10 years were spent in agony because of his defiance. That would have been accurate. God reminded me this morning that the end is not yet written. Though we may or may not have served well to this point, there is more to come. What will we do with the time we have left? It's a good question that each of us must answer individually. Pray with me. Lord, what will I do with the time left? I have left. I have to make a choice about that. I pray, God, that you, by your Spirit, would guide me to walk in faith for the rest of my days. Help me not to be satisfied with the time I have already walked in faith with you, but to look forward 
and to continue to walk by your side. For those who have not been faithful to this point, remind them. There's still time left. We still have choice. And so, Lord, help us to listen to the voice of your Spirit as you call us to walk in faith with you from here forward. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, friends, hope you have a great day. God bless you. See you tomorrow.